Hi everyone. Welcome to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. I'm so happy that you're here. I am going to be just making out of my cute little cookbook. I'm just going to make the simple green bean casserole and it's found on page 19. Funny little story about this green bean casserole. My daughter Madison, she loves and loved green bean casserole when she was growing up. So I didn't just save this for like Thanksgiving or Christmas. I made this usually every month and I always took it to our potluck at church because it was one of those things that she just loved and she was a little bit of a picky eater. So I knew that she would at least eat that. So I love this recipe because it's so easy and so simple. If you want to double it, you can for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, okay? But it's really easy. So it's just one can of cream of mushroom soup. And I'm just going to use my little tiny spatulas that you guys know I love so much. They clean out these cans so well. And you do preheat your oven to 350, okay? So one can of cream of mushroom soup, and then you're gonna add one cup of milk. And we're gonna mix this up really well. And then to this, I have two cans of green beans and you can use whatever style you like. This is just the regular cut green beans. You can use French style if you'd like. I have drained them and now I'm just gonna dump these in. Like I said, it's just two cans. It's the 14.5 ounce can. All right. And you just stir this around. My French fried onions, I like to add them a little bit now, so I'm gonna put in two thirds of a cup. So yeah, I'm gonna put in about two thirds of a cup. I'm gonna put in some pepper, and the recipe calls for an eighth of a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. All right. Then you just stir this around. I'm gonna bake this in my oven for about 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna take it out, and then I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of these onions on the top. And I'm gonna grease this just a little bit. You guys know me, I like to take it over by my sink so it's not all over my counter. I'm just gonna add this into your dish. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven for 25 minutes. So my timer just went off for me to take out the green beans. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to add the rest of those onions onto the top. Okay. It smells so good. All right, then I just put this back in and I'm just gonna put them back in for about five minutes. So I'll be back. I have taken this out of the oven and it looks so good. I just put it back in for five more minutes to where those onions became golden on the top. I wish my sweet little Madison was here because what we loved to do with this is we love to just eat this really with like bread and butter. It was so, so good. So it's not just for Thanksgiving, my sweet friends. All right, and just as a reminder, this little, this yummy little green bean casserole can be found on page 19 of my number one cookbook. And in number one, it has all of like your sweet potato casserole. I will be making that. Also, it has your pecan pie, your pumpkin pie, your mashed potatoes like all the things that you need for the holidays are in my number one cookbook. And speaking about the holidays, the reviews are in for this number two cookbook. This number two is such a beautiful cookbook, my friends. Um, I know I have talked about it several times, but everyone has been getting it. And like everyone has been commenting about how beautiful it is and how simple the recipes are. This is a cookbook that has sweet and savory things in it 
for all of the holidays. So it goes through winter, winter, spring, summer, fall, and Christmas. So it covers Easter, 4th of July, all the things are in here. So put these two together and you will have everything that you need. Anyway, I love you, sweet friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. Always remember that you can do hard things and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and be sure and press the bell. Push that thing because it will then give you a notification every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 o'clock.